Guardians, both to the place here, bringing you another episode of Close Encounters of the Zerg Kind. It's the weekend of April 15th through the 17th, and Zer is back in the reef. And the door they fixed to stay open, so maybe they won't move him to the tower for once. Let's see what he's got. Nothing new. Bummer. I was hoping they'd have at least one of these in, from the new, old new exotics from the update. Titans get the Helm of Saint 14 helmet. Its exotic perk is Starless Knight. Your Ward of Dawn blinds enemies who enter it. So it's got increased intellect or increased strength, ashes to assets, or heavy lifting. And Invigoration. Very decent exotic for Bubble Titans. Um, especially if you got a lot of like thralls or something in the area that are going to come, like melee stuff that comes really close to you. And that you can get them, pop it, they get in your bubble, they blind. You're safe from getting attacked pretty much. Hunters. The Young Ahankara Spine Gauntlets. Its exotic perk is Field Trip. Increase trip mine grenade duration and gain an additional trip mine grenade charge. It's got increased intellect or increased discipline, fastball or impact induction, hand cannon loader or shotgun loader. Pretty fun exotic to use if you like using trip mines. Or if you're in something where everything speeds up, like um, a Mayhem Crucible, where you're going to have it all the time, you can trip mine the whole area, and that expect to get a lot of random kills that you're not doing anything if you run around, or even post-mortem kills. Um, that or anything with small rooms. And that you can block up a doorway with them pretty much. Uh, there are better exotics out there for Golden Gun, especially now that Aquiophage Symbiote has been fixed. But this is still one I like to go back to and have. It's a, just a fun exotic to use. Trip mines are fun to just plant all over the place. Orlocks have the Starfire Protocol. Exotic perk is Starfile Protocol. Gain an additional fusion grenade. It's got increased discipline or increased strength, special ammo or heavy ammo, arc burn defense, or solar armor. Fusion grenades. So, does anybody use fusion? Firebolt is the norm for Sun Singers, so. Well, it's only really good if you use fusions. Otherwise, I mean, gaining additional. Otherwise, I mean, you go like Void Vague Vestments where you just spawn in with a grenade and you can use that right away. Kind of similar. And then he's got a weapon this week. A bad Juju Pulse Rifle. got a full auto on it, so this weapon can be fired in full auto mode. It's got smooth ballistics, soft ballistics, or smart drift control, hip fire, armor piercing rounds, send it, or perfect balance, and string of curses. After each kill, this weapon will reload instantly and increase damage for a short time. Kills will help charge your super. So, not too bad of a gun. It's not like a sought after one, but a good, good way to use this gun, especially like PVE, is you match this up on a warlock, doing a Nova Bomb with the Obsidian Mine, and you pretty much, with the Obsidian Mine perk and this perk here, you pretty much have Nova Bombs all the time. <laughs> 
it's 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 worth a pickup, but don't expect that you're gonna be using it all the time. Then legacy engram, aka year one items. He's got special weapon engrams. So if there's any special engram special weapons you're missing from year one, go ahead and grab it. Uh, note that the prison of elder weapons came to year two. They uh, do not work in just buying them in the kiosk. So don't go thinking you can try to get the year one versions from here and then just go buy the year two versions in the kiosk. You, to get the year two, you actually have to do the new Prison of Elders, Challenge of Elders. Curious this week. We have the Plasma Drive and the Void Drive vehicle upgrades. So it'll turn your rare Sparrow into a legendary. We have Heavy Ammo Synthesis, 3 for 1 Strange Coin. We have 5 3 coins for 7 Strange Coins. We have 3 Glass Needles for 3 Strange Coins, 3 Motes of Light, 1 Exotic Shard. And we have the Material Exchange. 2 Motes of Light for 1 Strange, or 1 Mote of Light for 2 Strange Coins. So, now that everything with the update has changed and factions actually can give you upgrades in your gear from leveling up with them if you got a lot of strange coins it would be useful to either use grab a bunch of heavy ammo or remotes of light to turn in for packages for faction rep to get packages um, I haven't tested it yet to make sure it's still the same but it used to be that Heavy ammo was the way to go. You got more rep per strange coin because you get three of them compared to using two strange coins for one mode of light. That might have changed. I haven't had a chance to test it yet, but if you're looking to level up, that might be a helpful way to do it. So that was Zer stock for April 15th through the 17th. Make sure to like, comment, share. Check out my other videos at youtube.com slash c slash bolts of the plays. And you can check me out streaming from time to time over at twitch.tv slash bolts of the plays. Till next time, Guardians, take it easy.